The other day, my daughter sidled into my office and asked me, Dearest father, whose knowledge is incomparable, what is Kubernetes? All right, that's a little bit of a paraphrase, but you get the idea. And I responded, Kubernetes is an open source orchestration system for Docker containers. It handles scheduling onto nodes in a compute cluster and actively manages workloads to ensure that their state matches the user's declared intentions. Using the concepts of labels and pods, it groups the containers which make up an application into logical units for easy management and discovery. And my daughter said to me, Huh? And so I give you the illustrated Children's Guide to Kubernetes. Once upon a time, there was an app named Fippy, and she was a simple app. She was written in PHP and had just one page. She lived on a hosting provider, and she shared her environment with scary other apps that she didn't know and didn't care to associate with. She wished she had her own environment, just her and a web server she could call home. An app has an environment that it relies upon to run. For a PHP app, that environment might include a web server, a readable file system, and the PHP engine itself. One day, a kindly whale came along. He suggested that little Fippy might be happier living in a container. And so the app moved, and the container was nice, but it was a little bit like having a fancy living room floating in the middle of the ocean. A container provides an isolated context in which an app, together with its environment, can run. But those isolated containers often need to be managed and connected to the external world. Shared file systems, networking, scheduling, load balancing, and distribution are all challenges. The whale shrugged his shoulders. Sorry, kid, he said, and disappeared beneath the ocean's surface. But before Fippy could even begin to despair, a captain appeared on the horizon piloting a gigantic ship. The ship was made of dozens of rafts all lashed together, but from the outside, it looked like one giant boat. Hello there, friend PHP app. My name is Captain Kubi, said the wise old captain. Kubernetes is the Greek word for a ship's captain. We get the words cybernetic and gubernatorial from it. Led by Google, the Kubernetes project focuses on building a robust platform for running thousands of containers in production. I'm Fippy, said the little app. Nice to make your acquaintance, said the captain as he slapped a name tag on her. Kubernetes uses labels as a name tags to identify things, and it can query based on these labels. Labels are open-ended. You can use them to indicate roles, stability, or other important attributes. Captain Kubi suggested that the app might like to move her container into a pod aboard the ship. Fippy happily moved to Kub's giant boat, and it felt like home. In Kubernetes, a pod represents a runnable unit of work. Usually, you will run a single container inside of a pod, but for cases where a few containers are tightly coupled, you may opt to run more than one container inside of the same pod. Kubernetes takes on the work of connecting your pod to the network and the rest of the Kubernetes ecosystem. Fippy had some unusual interests. She was really into genetics and sheep. And so she asked the captain, um, what if I want to clone myself on demand any number of times? Well, that's easy, said the captain, and he introduced her to the replication controllers. Replication controllers provide a method for managing an arbitrary number of pods. A replication controller contains a pod template, which can be replicated any number of times. Through the replication controller, Kubernetes will manage your pod's lifecycle, including scaling up and down, rolling deployments, and monitoring. For many days and nights, the little app was happy with her pod and happy with her replicas. 
But only having yourself for company is not all it's cracked up to be, even if it is N copies of yourself. Captain Kubi smiled benevolently. I have just the thing, he said. No sooner had he spoken than a tunnel opened between Fippy's replication controller and the rest of the ship. With a hearty laugh, Captain Kubi said, Even when your clones come and go, this tunnel will stay here so you can discover other pods and they can discover you. A service tells the rest of Kubernetes' environment, including other pods and replication controllers, what services your application provides. While pods may come and go, the IP address and ports of your service remain the same, and other applications can find your service through Kubernetes' service discovery. Thanks to the services, Fippy began to explore the rest of the ship. It wasn't long before Fippy met Goldie, and they became the best of friends. One day, Goldie did something extraordinary. She gave Fippy a present. Fippy took one look, and the saddest of sad tears escaped her eyes. Why are you so sad? asked Goldie. Oh, I love the present, but but I have nowhere to put it, sniffled Fippy. But Goldie knew what to do. Why not put it in a volume? A volume represents a location where containers can access and store information. For the application, the volume appears as part of the local file system. But volumes may be backed by local storage, Ceph, Gluster, Elastic Block Storage, and a number of other storage backends. Fippy loved life aboard Captain Kuby's ship and she enjoyed the company of her new friends. Every replicated pod of Goldie was equally delightful. But as she thought back to her days on the scary hosted provider, she began to wonder if perhaps she could also have a little privacy. Sounds like what you need, said Captain Kuby, is a namespace. A namespace functions as a grouping mechanism inside of Kubernetes. Services, pods, replication controllers, and volumes can easily cooperate within a namespace, but the namespace provides a degree of isolation from the other parts of the cluster. Together with her new friends, Fippy sailed the seas on Captain Kuby's great boat. She had many grand adventures, but most importantly, Fippy had found her home. And so Fippy lived happily ever after. The end.